We are in the midst of Hollywood royalty this morning. Shonda Rhimes is widely considered the queen of television. She is the creative force behind hit shows like Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, and of course, Grey's Anatomy, heading into its 21st season. God, 21 years. Uh, well, now Shonda Rhimes is stepping back into the world of documentaries with the release of Black Barbie. This is an interesting one. It tells the story of how the first Black Barbie came to be while examining the importance of representation and how dolls can be crucial in the formation of identity. It was a very intentional uh, mission for my mom to make sure that my sisters and I saw ourselves in the toys that we played with. So she only purchased uh, Black Barbies for us. It was made very clear to me from very early on that there were not going to be any white dolls in our house. I used to make my own uh, hijabs uh, for my dolls growing up, especially if, uh, you know, I was playing with the cars. Like, I couldn't get in the Corvette without my hijab on. You don't want to mess up your hair. I don't think for me they were dolls. They were representations of who I wanted to be at a certain point. Which mm. is the key point there, the yep. power of representation. Shonda, good morning to you. Good morning. I love this. So the Barbie has been around, I think, the brand for about 65 years. But it took, I think, almost 20 years, 21 years before we saw a black Barbie. But can you talk for just a moment about why it was so important specifically to have, I mean, they had other dolls, but a Barbie, a black Barbie. I think it was important because the idea that you're creating this sort of iconic Barbie, this iconic yeah, woman, right. and she's only one color, mm. and everybody else has to be named something else, was a very interesting thing. And there was a woman working at Mattel named Beulah May Mitchell who said, why don't you make ones that look like us? Mm. And that started it. I was just telling you earlier, my wife and I, we watched it last night. It is fantastic, and I love how you, you use the story of, of how Black Barbie came to be to tell a larger story mm -hmm. about representation and why it matters so much. Um, we're in the presence of, of, of a Black Barbie as well. Did you know this? <laughs> Shonda Rhimes you has her, Barbie. she has her own Mattel made two one of a kind wow. Barbies. <laughs> yes. I mean, Ooh. did they nail it? I think they did. We had a lot of talk about, you know, That's making incredible. sure she was thick enough in the uh -huh. waist and that she, you know, sort of looked like me as much as possible. Wow. I love that. What went That's... through your mind when you got the call from Mattel? Hey, Shonda, we know you've done a lot, <laughs> but we want to turn you into a Barbie now. I was so excited. It was, I was like a kid again. Like, the idea was amazing to me, and I absolutely said yes right away. Mm -hmm. And they dressed her in clothes that I actually have. Well, I was oh, wow. just about to say, can I borrow that one that's colorful? <laughs> that's about the size for you. I mean, I'll take <laughs> That would leave me alone. <laughs> I love that. They're but beautiful. it was awesome. Yeah, it was an exciting experience. And to watch my daughters get to play with a doll Aww. that yeah. was made of their mother was very That's amazing. amazing. I mean, but check out this. I think we've got a drawing. You weren't the only one turning to a Barbie. Check out this drawing Mattel made um, for us a few years back. Do we have it? Where is it? A drawing. Okay. I guess we don't have it. It's coming. It's Any coming. Day. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll get it later. Moving on. Um, oh, there, oh, there, there we are. There it is. Wait, oh, what? Too. Wait, do I have legs? Yeah. And glamour. Look at Craig's, look at Craig's attitude. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. you with my shoulder? Work it, girl. <laughs> it's like my shoulder's out of socket. Yeah, and your dress is swinging. That's awesome. Okay. Anyway. anyway. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry you had to oh, see that, Shonda. So, I feel like you, you have been the first in so many different areas. You're now the first female to create four television dramas that have reached the 100 episode milestone. Yes. Do you like being the first or does that add some pressure? You know, I think it's always pressure to be the first of anything, but the one thing I always look at it as is I'm making sure that there's room for people behind me. Mm. You know, that there's so much more space for other people to be creators. All right. And so, I, I love my job, so it makes it easier. Well, it can, it, it's obvious because when you look at something like Bridgerton, you know, mm. which has just redefined a genre, uh, when you talk about period costume pieces and dramas, uh, I know part two is dropping June 13th. Yes. What can you tell us about what we're going to be seeing in the second oh, part? They're very secretive. We're very secretive <laughs> about it. But I will say that it is sexy mm -hmm. and surprising in mm -hmm. many ways. Mm -hmm. And also just... I cried at the end. I thought I found mm. it really moving. And, you know, I don't always cry. So I, I really got into it. I think it's a beautiful story. I'm sitting here. I remember interviewing you. I think we were in California for our Dove project. But anyway, I said, so what are you working on? And you said, well, it's going to be something a little different. It's kind of a period piece. <laughs> and you were like, it's, it's going to be beautiful. We're out shooting it now. And you had these eyes of like, and I said, ooh, it's going to be good. And you go, I think so. <laughs> so now I'm looking at you. I'm like, mm, I wonder what else she's got behind those eyes. Oh. And do you have any favorites? I mean, you have so many good projects. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to name a favorite. I think everything's my favorite while I'm working oh, on it. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Man. 
that, that's a lot. Mama <laughs> made it. Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. Yeah, see that, parents? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That. We love but, that. But no, I just, I, I am so excited to do what I do, and I think there's no way to pick a favorite. Is there more cooking in there somewhere? Oh, of course oh, there is. Please. Always. <laughs> Always. Well, I understand right you, yeah, actually, exactly. you actually brought us something. I did. So, you know, I happen to know some people at Mattel, mm -hmm. and I asked if they, if they could bring you a very special doll, which is the 40th anniversary Black Barbie doll. Oh, oh wow. This doll is incredibly, oh, wow. incredibly rare. I don't even have one, but I wanted you all to have one. Oh, oh Sean, that God. is so yeah. sweet. Oh, my, my daughter's going to love that. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, me. I'm like a box. She's like, plane. I got to get my doll. Yeah. Can I hold her? You can. I mean, I'm going to take her out of the box. No, I'm not going to take her out of the box. Shonda, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You were one of the first guests who brought a guest who brought us a really nice gift yeah. like this. Yeah, this well, I want you to enjoy it. Oh, well, look at her bag. bag. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Shonda, so much. And again, Black Barbie premieres June 19th on Netflix. God, that was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. We're speechless, and that huh? doesn't happen. No, but, <laughs> especially for this crew. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.